George Lucas famously said that 50% of the movie experience is sound. And in a game like Hellblade Sin or Sacrifice, the sound has to be much more than experiential. It has to be interactive, reflecting your actions and guiding you through the gameplay experience. We think of sound as something that exists in the world that we happen to hear, but in reality it's not quite so simple. Our mind interprets sound based on our past experiences, our expectations and our state of mind. In this demonstration, a sound changes based on what you see. Look at the video on the left. What do you hear? Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Now look at the video on the right. Ba, ba. Ba. Ba, ba, ba. The sound hasn't changed, yet the brain hears something different based on what you see. This is a key concept in Hellblade. We want you to hear the world as interpreted through Senua's mind. As her state of mind changes, as she's in different parts of her journey, sounds will morph and change accordingly and interactively. One of our goals on Hellblade from the very beginning has been to create a game with zero or at least very minimal HUD. So where there might ordinarily be an objective marker, we've had to find other ways to communicate to the player where to go. And one of these has been to rely on 3D spatial sound. Usando el sistema de blueprints en Unreal, creó una lógica que te permite colocar un objeto en el mundo y según la distancia a la que estés este objeto, eh, si, lo estás, si está dentro de un ángulo de visión o no, te permite modificar el sonido y de esta manera nos sirve para guiar al jugador. To test this fully, we came up with this idea that you could play a level that was entirely pitch black just using 3D sound to navigate. We tried it out and it worked, but it was a little frustrating because in real life at least you can rely on other senses such as touch. So we dialed in vision a little bit so that you could find your way. But in principle the idea was sound. Tuvimos oportunidad de hablar con gente que escuchaba voces y nos comentaban como estas voces están colocadas alrededor de su cabeza en un espacio y nosotros tomamos esa idea y la llevamos a cabo con las grabaciones binaurales. Once again. Hell is reaching deep inside of her. Esto hace que no se sientan reales, pero a la vez hacen que tengan una presencia y las sientas en ese lugar. Welcome. You are safe with me. I'll be right here, nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Las grabaciones binaurales impresionan bastante la primera vez que las oyes, pero también tienen sus limitaciones. Cuando grabas con un micrófono binaural, una vez lo transportas a Lane Jane no se puede modificar esa grabación. No puedes colocar las voces en otra posición o girar, girarlas alrededor en, en, en otra posición que no sea la, la que ya está grabada. I nearly discounted binaural sound um, due to its limitations, but then I came up with this idea that you, the player, is an observer, an active participant, and as long as the voices were relative to you, it didn't matter if you moved the camera around or where you were relative to Senua, it would all still make sense. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. To increase the sense of presence for Senua in the world, David had this idea to add a breathing system so that you could feel the effort that Senna was making, um, whether resting, fighting, sprinting, or, you know, in, in fear. <coughs> we then had this idea to link David's breathing system to um, visuals and other systems. So, in this one area of the world, the burning forest, the embers and particles, breathe with Senua's breath and it's strangely unnerving and adds to the bizarre sense of reality that Senua experiences. Tenemos todos estos elementos sonoros 
sucediendo a la vez todas estas situaciones en el juego y tenemos que controlar la mezcla final en tiempo real, una mezcla dinámica donde el mix se va adaptando a todo lo que va pasando y para esto usamos todo el, todas las herramientas de audio que, que, que nos ofrecen Real y aparte hacemos nuestras pequeñas herramientas para controlarlo. Imaginaos, ya es muy difícil hacerlo, hacer una mezcla de todos estos elementos en una película, cuanto más difícil hacerlo en un entorno que varía en tiempo real. I've always been advised that you can't rely on sound as a primary feedback mechanism in games because the player might be listening to loud music or they might have terrible speakers at home. But after the work we've done on Hellblade and after hearing the results, I don't think I could ever follow that path again. I think sound really is so important that it, it, it has to be part of the experience. 